this video we'll be demonstrating how to use the fine-tuned VGG16 model that we previously built to predict whether images from our test set are either cats or dogs. In previous videos I explained some basic principles for working with Keras and then we moved on to focusing on some basics of working with CNNs. It's recommended that you watch the previous set of videos on my channel first before moving forward here because we'll be using some of the items that we learned in those videos and building on them here. It's especially important that you watch the last video that came directly before this one. There we went through the process of training our fine-tuned VGG16 model and we'll be picking up directly where we left off there. So our goal has been to build a CNN that can identify whether a given photo is an image of a cat or a dog. We first attempted to build a very basic CNN from scratch and it performed very poorly on classifying whether images were cats or dogs. We then fine-tuned the VGG16 model and saw relatively great results just over five epochs of training. We're going to be using our fine-tuned model now to predict on images from our test set and then compare the results from our fine-tuned model to our original model that we built from scratch. So now that we know what the focus of this video is, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm here within the same Jupyter Notebook that I've been working with over the entire set of CNN videos in this playlist, and I'm now in the section to use our fine-tuned VGG16 model to predict on images of cats and dogs. Now this code is very similar to the exact same code that we ran earlier in the notebook for predicting with our original model that we built from scratch. So this should all look pretty familiar to you so far. In this first cell here, we are creating two variables, test images and test labels, and setting them equal to the next test batch from our test batches variable. And remember that is an image data generator that gets images from our test path. And I then just went ahead and plotted out these images here within our Jupyter Notebook so that again we could see our test set. And this test set is the exact same set of images that we used to predict using our original model that we built from scratch. And then I'm going through the same process here as I did in earlier videos where I'm setting the test labels equal only to the zeroth index in each of these. So a dog is going to be a one and a cat is going to be a zero. Now I'm creating this predictions variable and we are setting that equal to model.predictGenerator. Exactly what we did before with our original model, now we're doing it with our fine-tuned VGG16 model and we're passing it in our test batches. We're setting our steps equal to one and recall the reason for that is because our test set only contains 10 images of cats and dogs and our batch size for our test set is 10. And so it only takes one step to run through the entire batch of images. So that's why steps equal one here. And then I'm setting my verbosity level to zero. So we run those predictions and then we go ahead and create our confusion matrix variable in the same way that we did before and then create the labels for the confusion matrix and then plot the confusion matrix using this plot confusion matrix function that we defined at the top of our notebook. We got that from scikit-learn. We're passing in our confusion matrix variable that we just defined here and then our CM plot labels variable that we defined here and giving our confusion matrix a title. And here we see our confusion matrix. So again, we have our predicted labels on our x-axis, our true labels on the y-axis, and it's stating that we predicted that an image was a cat one time when it was actually a dog, and we predicted that an image was a cat four times when it was actually a cat. And then similarly, we predicted an image was a dog four times when it actually was a dog, and we predicted that an image was a dog one time when it was actually a cat. So there's 10 images here total, two of which we got wrong, so our predictions are running at an 80% rate. So it's still not incredibly great, but there's a couple of things to recall. One is that we only trained on 40 images of cats and dogs. Two is that we only trained over five epochs. So simply by adding more data to our training set and running more epochs could really improve our model without tweaking anything further. And then of course, there are a lot of other parameters that we could change and test with to see if that makes our model any better. We did see last time during training our model that our accuracy got up pretty high, but our loss was still hanging out around about 0.66. So not incredibly low. It still definitely has room to go Lower. Now one quick thing that I just want to point out before we wrap up our video here is I want to go grab our confusion matrix from earlier in the notebook whenever we ran predictions from our model that we built from scratch and just compare it to the confusion matrix here. So I'm going to scroll up and get that now. 
All right, and I'm just going to paste it in right here for comparison. Now here we see that our old model did actually really badly. If you recall, it predicted that all images were cats. So it just went with pure chance and split down the middle and said 100% of the images are all cats. So therefore this gave us a 50% accuracy rate on our predictions, which is definitely a lot worse than our 80% here that we got with our new fine-tuned model. And that wraps up our video for predicting on our fine-tuned VGG 16 model. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like this video, subscribe, suggest, and comment. And thanks for watching.